last year, I would talk a little bit about the NYU program as part of the service. Um, now, we all know that India has very high potential for solar energy. Uh, it's been in the news, everybody keeps talking about it, uh, mainly because of the favorable sunshine uh, characteristics that India receives, uh, being in the tropical belt. Um, India is also known for the world's largest solar kitchen and the fourth largest uh, solar water heating systems in the world. So definitely there's a lot of potential in solar. However, uh, what we find is that in terms of contribution to the total power consumption in this uh, country, solar forms less than 1% of the total power installed capacity. Mm -hmm. This whole project that you're talking about, 10,000 megawatt and 3,000 megawatt, both are in collaboration with SJVNL, right? Yes. Both of them? Yes. And a separate project of 100 megawatt is also in collaboration with uh, SJVNL, That's right. which is currently being developed. Which is currently in progress. And it is likely to start production next month. Yes, uh, the current state is that development is starting and production should start very soon. Being as a PPP board, so they cannot have uh, more than 50 percent in any of the projects with any of the private investors. We have received a letter of expression from SJVNL, for which we are announcing today that we have asked them to join us for 48 percent of equity. So after this, they are going to take it to their uh, board and uh, get an approval on it. And then the government. Yeah, and then to the government. Yeah. And uh, the difference is on the right hand side. They are, uh, Sir, like, uh, do you plan to have more tires, which will be much more diverse, like, like wind energy or energy or dynamic and labor to the industry with 48 percent? So, do you the do you just plan to do it further with other groups uh, by investing in it? I think I will answer to this about the transition. Uh, no, basically. SGBN is the uh, operating hydro project that's with the Megawatt. And we are also in the process of constructing another hydro project downstream of Nakta uh, Jhapri that's Rampur. And uh, we are doing other projects in Matel Sweet Projects and three in Uttarakhand and uh, two in uh, Bhutan and one in Nepal. So this is the portfolio at the moment. We have got enough reserves and surplus for the presentation from Nakta Jhapri. Now, um, uh, in this scenario, since this is a green energy, we have, got, we have been mandated by our board mm -hmm. to go ahead and explore the possibility of being associated in other green energy, mm -hmm. except for some other companies. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we have seen their uh, you know, website that they are going for this solar and wind and all that. And since we are mandated to venture into this, mm -hmm. so we contacted them and then uh, something will culminate out of this. So this is what uh, we have done as a process. We started uh, to venture out of the core group or core function area of hydro into other uh, uh, sources of energy production. And um, um, this is a path of development. We can't fructify and uh, clearly say that uh, today this is our plan and this is what we are going to do. Yeah. Because this would be a learning phase for us along with them. So as we learn, we will be deciding on the future course. So does NCBL also is planning, may plan in future for in the other forms of energy if this uh, project is successful? Yeah, apart from thermal, we can go for nuclear or say uh, geothermal or other forms of energy, sure. Uh, so these 100, 200 and 100 uh, projects are above this 10,000 and 3,000 metal? 100 is above that Gujarat, 100 is separate. This 300 is part of this 10,000 uh, we had a uh, we had a, <coughs> given a presentation to the honourable chief minister and the brother minister uh, uh, mm -hmm. and then the former power minister was the state president of BJP. He was also present along with mm -hmm. the chief secretary and heads of all the KPC and everybody was there. And uh, we got a really good response from them. And they said the sky is the limit for solar. We are actually you know, also very keen because it is not only good for us because. A lot of health hazards also happening in Karnataka, as such as Bangalore, what WH has already said, asthma, other things are already, you know, they're increasing out there. Mm -hmm. So if you have more and more clean energy, and if you go to Bangalore during the daytime, you'll have a lot of generation from generators, the fumes that, you know, basically choke you out if you go in the center. They're also looking for viable alternators. And plus, uh, water heaters, that is the first thing. 
who has the maximum number of water solar water heaters in the country. So they are good at it. Plus they have all the street lighting done by uh, the solar street lights. And they, they have taken a huge initiative. And we have been very, very happy being associated with them. And they have asked us, you know, initially start off with it. And uh, once we start the stone link ceremony, we would definitely request the Prime Minister to do the stone link ceremony along with the Chief Minister of the State. Because that is uh, our Prime Minister's vision for 2020. And uh, we want to make sure that at least with us, by the time we actually set, we'll be able to at least complete half of this ambition. And rest of company, we are all trying to enter into a joint venture for a translation line between Nepal and India. So, with that experience, maybe with time, let's see how we move on to this part of the translation system. I would like to add that SJP has been very bullish on this. The day we actually met them and uh, we received a number of calls from them. They were actually keen, you know, they wanted to do something because they said, we were the first ones to do the biggest hydropower and why not be the first ones to do the biggest solar power but the only difference is, is the biggest solar power in the world. So I only wish them for the advice from the companies. Uh, beginning, good beginning, I let them show the performance I wish you well. That apart I only represent Karnataka, especially Bangalore North, and uh, represent JTP. I was anxious to know what's happening in the field of power. Because we are the pioneers. In 1902, we began the power stations in Karnataka. In Saramishwajaya, first project. Many of you have seen it fitted to coal or gold fields and uh, later on to the Mysore Palace. And, so, of course, now the power is a basic uh, uh, requirement for even the farmers, agriculturists, many other uh, fields of uh, power. Of those days, nobody was to ask for power. Anxious to know what's happening. So, for the cleanest take off is concerned, I was the minister, Mr. Anthony, the honorable minister of uh, defense. I should say that that is one of the most, uh, uh, in fact, uh, I, I have seen for the first time that the Tejas is going at that speed, which was deserted about three, month, three years back. Now it has come back on the, the interest that uh, the minister took and part the core of uh, scientists, about 350 scientists put together, they have done a wonderful job. They have added something more comparable either to Russia, United States of America or even now. Uh, other countries, very advanced countries who are not prepared to share the technology to India. Now we are with the indigenous tree is uh, contributing a lot to more defense and outside. So I only congratulate them as it is to concern. Day before yesterday it was. No, yesterday. 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 Bangalore is a hub of information technology activities. And uh, the hub of activities is translated into action by the defense, especially not only in Tales but uh, in Bell also, that transform the information technology. <coughs> and uh, updated everything, which is not publicized. I only feel proud to represent 